We are live. Welcome to Happy Foot, Sad Foot. I am Darren Miller. I'm Travis Helwig. Boy, boy, did we need that. Wow. Game of the season so far. Uh, uh, I can't tell you how good it felt in the stadium. Not The first goal, there was still that, like, okay, we could still fuck this up. But when Stipe fucking Buke scored... Off a Denny Bawanga pass. Friend of the foot, Steve A. Buke. Oh my God. Steve, as you guys know, we have been we have been uh uh his biggest champion in this city, <laughs> Steve A. Buke. Steve A. Buke to me is the future of this club. I've been saying it for day one, and I'm so fucking excited to be proven right, baby. We have a complicated relationship with our son, Steve A. Buke. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I we have been running our mouths for far too long about so too many things, and it feels so good to be eating so many of our words tonight. Uh, it's all we've ever wanted. I, this has been – it's crazy. Every specific thing we've been frustrated with has been addressed in one game. It really was <laughs> it doesn't like – doesn't mean they're permanent solutions, but like – it was just everyone on the team being like, don't worry. Don't worry about this in particular. Don't worry about this in particular. Yeah. <laughs> get over here. I would have I would have done anything for a Denny Buwanga goal at the end. Like, because it would have it it solved every problem that we said. I mean, the Mamadou fall didn't play or whatever, but that's one game. Who cares? Steve A. Buke scoring another an great play. solution. <laughs> Nathan Ordaz first assist. That's my Ordaz fucking happy. Cooking play. at the end there. Ooh, ooh. We back. We're back. We never left. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been wasting your time listening to our show for the last two months, <sighs> but forget all of it. <laughs> I don't. Do you guys feel this level of relief that I feel? It, it's as if like my sinuses have been clogged for two months, and then suddenly I can breathe again. I know I feel this way. We should bring on a few guests who have been waiting to see what the answer to that question is. My sinuses are always clogged, so. I think what you're talking about sounds incredible, but I've never experienced it. Let's bring on LAX Andy, who's been here for a long time now. Can you hear us? We're back. You're on the show. We're back. We're, We're back. back. Andy. We're, We're back. back. We're back. I love soccer. Soccer is amazing. Soccer is the best. We're driving uh, wanna, to the airport, I baby. We're driving to the airport. Round trip, baby. LAX, Long Beach, Burbank, you name it, Ontario. Fontana <laughs> Executive <laughs> Airport, let's go. Hit, hit the 210, this, this let's is do the, it. Oh, my God. Andy, how you feeling? It was great to see you again. Likewise. Oh, my God. No, I, 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 don't, I don't even know how to put it into words. It was, let, 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 I'm going I'm to start off with the, the sad foot. I'm going to start with the sad foot. Because the first half was really frustrating. We did not have a shot on goal until well after 60 minutes. And I got to acknowledge it. You know, T Taylor, I believe, is calling in later. He's got a manifesto. You got to listen to him. But, <laughs> my God, it was – we, we, we – our, our 213, we tried to get the buke, buke, buke cheer going. You'd have thought up in our section that we had just won the MLS Cup again. It was such a wonderful <laughs> – People, it was like the liberation of France. People were <laughs> hugging. I saw tears. Oh my God. Ugh. I, I shout, shout out. We had a lot of folk, a lot of scars, a lot of this, a lot of the, the happy feet scars up in 213. Oh, so wow. shout out to everybody over there. Um, yeah. And, I, and that, I, I'm going to keep it quick, simple. That's all I had to say. Steep a buke, baby. I called it. I called it for this <laughs> game. For anybody. For anybody, you did. You did uh, in the Patreon. Friend of the foot, in the Patreon, Andy. You did. LAX Andy. Uh, every single game of the last, I don't know, two months uh, in the Patreon chat, uh, LAX Andy has predicted a steep review goal. <laughs> and then today, just as an offhanded joke, oh, uh, still does it, even though he's coming off the bench. I, uh, but if you notice, can you imagine if this was said, the day? Can you imagine if this was the game you didn't call? You're like, oh, he's not starting. I shouldn't say anything. But if you notice, I, I had in parentheses it was coming off the bench. Yeah. Yeah. You knew. Oh, anyway. You always knew. Anyway, 
Anyway, right, just, Andy, no. great to see you. Thanks for always calling in. Thank you. Thank you for, yeah. Soccer is great. I love you guys. Soccer is I great. love soccer. I love soccer. <laughs> let's let's get to some comments quick, just because I feel like yeah. we've been neglecting them lately. Uh, Tim Morgan says, "Fuck the sad feet. It's all happy feet tonight." Tim Morgan says, "Complaining about Sifu, part of our history." Um, Absolutely, Sifu, complete repair of his legacy tonight. I love it. I'm not going with this negative negativity from Jacob Contreras. We're skipping right by it. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, J140 says Vela was six months left on this contract as a different animal. Carlos fucking Vela, baby. Vela Ooh. lives. Ooh, Vela went out to the store goal. and bought a whole new set of legs tonight. He uh, was flying. And fucking Sifu. That was Sifu's assist. Sifu got a yep. goal oh and assist God. tonight. In potentially his last assist? game. That might that have been Sifu's the assist. That was the best play of the season. Did you see that assist? I mean, it's hard to see. You don't really get the full beautiful. replay. Beautiful. That ball was beautiful. He's it was like, a volley. It was a just turnaround case, volley. Just oh my in God, case Scotland me. wasn't sure that they still wanted him, he yeah. said, Trust me, guys, you want him. <laughs> remember me? Um, let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more comments and then bring on Joey one bar. Um <laughs> Carlos says no puke tonight. Isaac says we finally get ba free Baskin Robin. Uh, oh, did you? Ryan did Olsen they? says Sifu closing the sale. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, Travis, another Travis says, God, imagine ever doubting Steve Bay Buke. Couldn't be me. No Travis ever has doubted Steve Bay Buke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Joey One Bar, bring him on. Joey One Bar, welcome to the show. Welcome back. <laughs> No, it's oh, fake. No, I'm just messing it's with fake. you. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, yeah. What no. are you gonna do? What do you? You have service. You're here. Somehow I do, because honestly, the service up here in Big Bear usually sucks. So I don't know. I don't know. Big how Bear. I'm right okay. Now. Have Big fun. Bear. Yeah. No, I know. I was, I was saying on the Patreon, like this is where uh, Ollie and and uh, the Falconer used to live. I think now they live in the desert somewhere. But That's where Ollie's trying to fly back to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah apparently um but yeah no and i said in the patreon and, and i guess i wasn't here when the pod started but you guys are now claiming stipe and your family as well because dave denholm said he loves him like a son and dave denholm <laughs> always with the quotable quotes he's my man uh and he never lost faith he knew from the second that stipe stepped foot on the pitch he said stipe is is on one tonight he knew he that he had the dog in him and like come on i mean where's jeff stack when you need him 100 percent correct <laughs> I, uh, I, this is from right when he came on 10 minutes in, I wrote Stipe is having a fantastic game. He played <laughs> incredible start to finish. Truly. I was going to compliment him. Even if he didn't, uh, score, he had a beautiful cross to Vela when it was still zero, zero, uh, that almost was a goal that Vela missed by an inch. Um, man, I mean, yes, the first half sucked. I don't want to talk about that. The and I don't even think it sucked out. that much, though, if I'm being honest. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, we had no shots I, I on goal, it but it was like, it, it, it actually felt like a kind of decent half, despite the fact that we had no shots on goal. Like, I just kind of knew that we were building into something good. Let's not talk too highly of Stipe, though, because otherwise he's just going to suck for the rest of the season. We know no, that you man. guys control No, man, no, he needs this. Listen, so. the tough love <laughs> works. I also want to <laughs> say, I feel like, I feel like Stipe, you know, we wanted this so badly for him because we saw those flashes of fucking brilliance and he just couldn't finish. And it, he had all the time in the world to choke this one, man. He really could have done it. It felt like a buke puke. And he put away a fucking banger. It was a buke blast, I would say. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Cubby, Cubby loves it too. It oh, was. Oh, Cubby. Yeah, um, Cubby. Any happy foots or sad foots before we let you go, Joey, one bar? <laughs> did i have Joey, more than tonight. one bar i guess is a happy foot yeah and that's I don't true remember what i don't remember what adam conover was saying about taking like Kripo out back and pulling an old yeller on him but i i still miss max Kripo. i really hope that we get him back at some point johnny mac though j mac daddy looking pretty solid so what a great game good. from j mac Peace yeah. out. love to All the right. foot man. Love you joe thank you as Bye. always for joining us working on those bars let's do it Woo! yeah um, I want to acknowledge one comment that made me laugh a lot while Joey was talking, which is from J140. Buke might just beat those B Rod 2.0 allegations. Buke he's got, he's got time now. He's just starting out. He's young. Let's do it. Oh, Buke. 
Buke is let's uh, bring on... our star player. Taylor's got a, a manifesto <laughs> coming on, we've heard. Yeah, let's bring on Taylor Ferguson. He's been waiting very patiently. Taylor, welcome to the show. <laughs> we can Hello. hear you. I don't Great. know if we yeah, can see yeah. you. Driving you may or may not be in a car. Yeah, no, I'm in Joey One Bar's closet. It's fine. Um, <laughs> no, I've got uh, somebody else is holding the phone as I drive. But Okay, thank you. Yes, Beautiful. yes. Um, quick manifesto. It was written at halftime, so it's got a lot of the first half bias. Okay. But the oh gosh, four, three, three formation, we're too wedded to it. We use our width with the wingers too much, and that relies on having a solid number nine, which we don't have. So instead of running up the wings and doing nothing, I think we're perfectly set up for a 4-4-2 formation. We have Bawanga and Vela playing off each other. We create wings with either, you know, you put Ordaz or Buke on one side, uh, Bogus on the other. You have two creative wings outside. You get Tillman playing up behind Vela and a poke or not a poku. Oh, poor one out. Uh, Vela and Bogus <laughs> or Bawanga. And you have Elie playing the same central defensive role. I think we're trying to make a formation out of something we just don't have currently. Look, Taylor, you are smarter than both me and Darren, and I don't <laughs> think we have anything to add. I agree that with you, maybe. That sounds good to me, yeah. <laughs> someone bring, bring up, someone check, text Dolo. Do you have, a, do you have a chart that you could send to us? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's working. I'm working on it. Um, okay, good. But to bring it back to the level, I'll bring a happy foot in. The kid with no shirt and the sombrero is all of yes. us. He's all I, of us. Uh, what what I miss? What I miss? So Darren, you there's a kid. He's been at maybe at the last four or five home games, and he must be nine years old, ten years old. Um, and he wears a sombrero and he doesn't wear a shirt. And now anytime he's on camera, people lose their fucking minds. He is he is the new Ollie. <laughs> I, I was, oh my god! I was gonna say he could get Ollie's little thing she tries to catch better than ollie can these days <laughs> i missed i missed the falcon thing did ollie try to get away again um she wasn't at her best but she flew the closest to the stands i've ever felt so it was <laughs> it was cool it was cool and She's then um, excited adam conover also yelled happy foot at me so that's a great a great night so we're good <laughs> we've had were a, you, we've had i a think night. was he in your section yeah he said like, i think he sent me a photo of us. you he sent oh, me a yeah. photo of you excitedly that he saw the, the scarf. Oh, yeah. It's me, uh, LAX, Andy, and Luis. We we got a little 213 section going. Oh, okay. Going. Yeah. This That's is incredible. Where, where There's a whole section. It. Oh, yeah. It's great. All uh, right. Well, thanks for calling in, Taylor. And Thank anytime you, you could teach us more, that would be great. Please keep calling in. Got you yeah. guys. Have a good one. <laughs> All right. Take care. Just want to remind everybody watching to please thumbs up and subscribe. We always forget to say that, and I guess it matters. Um, the... <laughs> Oh, I don't know, Darren. How, I mean, were, were the announcer, did you listen to Denholm or did you listen to the announcers? The announcers uh, on Apple TV was Bredos. So oh, I okay. had the, I had the, which button do I press meme to, to, to sweat the whole game. I stuck with Bredos uh, because I figure every other game I can go to Denholm. Uh, and it was great. I mean, I missed, I missed Denholm. I would have missed Bredos. Uh, it's nice to get – I think last time we got Bredos, we didn't get a Bredos goal call for LAFC. Yeah. So that was nice. That was very nice. Yeah, I, uh, I have a It was nice for the, for the play callers to, like, know what they – really know their LAFC stuff. Um, I have a happy foot that I don't think anyone's mentioned yet, which – I oh, mean, I Diego plenty. Palacios has been so good for so long, and today he did a – what I can only describe as a back heel nutmeg around a guy. Um, one of the, like the best footwork we've ever seen uh, <laughs> from a player on our team, um, or at least this season was an unbelievable move. Um, yeah, that was great. I got, I got lots of happy feet. Oh uh, yeah. Hit me. with uh, it. I'll, I'll bring up again that seafood, av seafood available. Like it's 2022 out here. Uh, that volley, that ball, if you look look at the replay, everyone do yourself a favor and watch the replay of that one play over the top, right to Vela, a perfect turnaround volley, a perfect ball right to his feet, right in front of the last defender, and then a perfect touch into the goal. I, it was not the same players I've been watching all season. It was not the same team I've been watching all season. It is the same team I know that they've been since 
three, four seasons ago. Uh, it was it was absolutely beautiful to watch. But but I mean, all of their goals were great. like it wasn't just the thing that got me so excited tonight was that they finally capitalized on opportunities and put actual plays together that resulted in like good execution goals. And it wasn't just uh, we've been watching a lot of like them squandering opportunities. We've been watching a lot of them not being able to create opportunities. They had a pl plenty of moments where it felt frustrating that they couldn't create those opportunities tonight and that they, they didn't capitalize. But then all you need is to be able to do it once and defend, which they also did. Yeah. Yeah. I, and, you know, I've been complaining about them not being creative in possession for a long time. And at least the last 30 minutes of that game was the most creative we've seen them in a long time. Yeah. They played with urgency they played with excitement and watching them especially once vela scored they played with such confidence mm -hmm. for the first time in so fucking long and it felt so exciting to watch i can't tell you how much of a relief it was to see them trust their passes and to not telegraph everything it just felt so yeah it, it felt like such a relief confidence Sifu was fun. like a whole different you could tell that he was like i'm i'm good tonight <laughs> <laughs> it was like a completely different player. Yeah. It was really funny, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I like, oh, right. I, I wrote down right in like the 65th minute, 63rd, 65th minute, right when I've been tracking, I've been so frustrated every game, right when they start to fall asleep and take a little nap. The exact they opposite were, happened. They were, it was the exact opposite. They were going they so hard. To the podcast. <laughs> that, that must be what it is. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> just took our criticism to heart. <laughs> We're tired of these guys who don't know about Fuke formations. Fuke was like, oh, okay, yes, what yes, yes, okay, uh-huh. Fuke Sifu was like, wait, was they like, want okay, me to yeah. score? Fuke was like, I don't, they want me to score? Um, uh, generic frustration and negativity? Okay, I think I know what to do. Uh, or Daz, first assist. Almost Taylor, got a second. Almost got a goal. Just want to follow up. Taylor, who called in, just commented, Sadfoot, after I hung up, uh, my partner said, nerd, under her breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, like, I wish I knew that shit. You, yes, it's nerdy, but it's a nerd that I want to be. Yeah, that's good nerd. Um, that, we was, have, that was solid nerd. Hold on. We have a caller from Gentrification FC, which is what we were called uh, post the Rose Bowl. <laughs> Gentrification FC, how you doing? <laughs> Uh, I'm not a starter. I'm, an, I'm just an academy prospect, so <laughs> okay. let's see how that goes. Um, oh, man. Who's feeling good? Woo! If you're not feeling good, you yeah, don't got, got blood in your veins. You got a full car. That's, that, there we go. That's frumpy right there. Woo! Hey, yeah, everyone, Give me a roll call of who's in the car. Everyone say your yeah, name. <laughs> we, got, we got frumpy right here. Grumpy. It's Uzi, a.k.a. Josh, 42 AKA original CSG. Hey, happy foot, three points. Yes, sir. Yeah. And sad foot, having to watch people walk back their seafood comments when he's like our second or third best player for the rest of the season. <laughs> It'll feel so good. I mean, if we don't sell him and, and That's me. if you – that's me. If you if you didn't listen to our Tom Bogart interview, he mentioned it's possible we don't and we just keep him and let him leave on a free at the end of the season. If he plays like that, I'm happy to fucking have him. Best game he's played all season. We are you gonna appreciate are, him while we have him? Are you gonna have some apologies in tow? Um, yeah. I don't know what you're saying because I was I've never doubted Sifu. I've uh -huh. never doubted oh, Steve Buke. That's right. I. <laughs> You've always been really high on all yeah, of our players. 100%. <laughs> um, any happy, happy Someone's birthday, high. Foot? How much are we going to sell Sifu for? What's your happy foot and your sad for? foot? Happy foot is we finally won a game. But yes, is sir. how much are we going to end up having to sell Sifu for when we end up having to sell him? He, we're not going to get a lot for him because he can leave on a free in winter. Less than Chicho. Less oh, than if, Chicho. If Mahalo Poku could get the second largest uh, MLS per cash for player contract or uh, sale, then Sifu easily can get that, seeing as he's been, what, our second, third highest scorer for, what, two, three years straight now? Sifu I, is easily going to 
get us a lot of money and he'll end up going to get us some other big summer signing who's going to stay for what six seven months that's my problem with lafc we get these we we keep these players for less than the time that they're worth you gotta sell high selling them on for some money we're a business club and you know what? I appreciate the business, but we need to keep these players while they're worth it and not sell them to some assholes who's, who are not going to respect them for what they're worth. Look at all the players that we've <laughs> sold. They've never been worth it. Any okay. Club that we've okay, sold that's to. my ranty cousin, Josh. No. Rossi. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Diego, Rossi, and Turkey. Bullshit. All Look right. at him. All right, Tommy. Right, 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 Chicho Arago Pachuca. Chicho Arago Pachuca. What? Bring back hey, Rossi. We're getting get free ice cream tomorrow. You know, show that game day ticket and a hot Hell take yeah. at that free ice cream. That's right. Sad point. This is the first game I'm leaving just completely drenched in someone else's beer and drinks. And it's a good thing, but... Thomas, Thomas started <laughs> coming right before the Open Cup versus Galaxy. Ooh, I'm that sorry, was the second game ever. So oh, he oh, hasn't welcome. ever been to a three-point winning match at BMO. Hey, it's, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's wonderful. He's not oh. driving, by the way. This is a simulation. <laughs> Five years of coming to game, and I'm just saying, why are we selling players for less than the world? This is a bunch of teams that are less than the that free ice cream. Them. Show the game day ticket and free ice cream. So do you want to be better than the this final? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> I had no idea what we they were saying by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining the show. If what you a wonderful go back and listen to this car ride that was. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> that was amazing. That's what oh. we want on the show. I, I hope that that comes through in the recording. <laughs> I, if it doesn't come through in the recording, watch it on YouTube because it was truly beautiful. Um, that was awesome. the, what that guy said is wrong. We're not going to get a lot of money for Sifu, uh, but we can talk about that another time. <laughs> Sifu's contract is up, so no one's going to give us a bunch of money. He could go on a free. So that's yeah. It's just, I, I, don't under, I kind of don't understand why it's been like everyone's so sure that it was going to happen when it's like, why would they give us any money? Why wouldn't they just wait? Yeah, I don't know yeah. what the advantage. Unless they, I guess they urgently need him, but I mean, they don't yeah, seem to, if they, they want seem to be him taking sooner, their time, if they want him sooner, um, let's get some more. Uh, let's get some more comments going in. Uh, Gerardo says, sad foot, no home games for a month. I would say that's maybe happy a happy foot. foot. Happy we foot. need the fucking time <laughs> off. And right when we come back, I mean, we might have some home games for Lee's Cup, right? Are there, how does that work? And then Messi's going to play here, maybe. That'll be cool. <laughs> happy foot and sad foot at the same time. Yeah. Ugh. Marshall says, the fact that it was Vela, Buke, and Sifu to score is hilarious considering the last two months of play. I couldn't agree with you more, Marshall. That is the, I would say, official headline of the match. Oh, oh <laughs> beautiful. It is beautiful. really funny. Oh, let me see what else I got in my notes. Um, <laughs> oh, we we're talking about baseball, Taylor. I don't know anything about baseball. Um, I'm right, in for baseball. Go. Let's do it. Okay. Happy foot shirtless <laughs> kid in the sombrero. I said, yes. he's an institution. Um, sad foot. I don't want to talk about it, but Wonga whiffed on a, ball that should have been a goal in the first half um mccarthy had a great game sifu's unbelievable assist palacio's reverse nutmeg or first assist or um or needs more minutes a few people yeah. have said that in the comments especially while we don't have a number nine put him up there he knows how to create space he's fast enough to draw people away from denny bawanga and carlos vela which is what we need and he's good enough that if he gets the ball He's not going to fuck it up. I love Nathan Ordaz. And that said, I love Stipe Buke, my two favorite players. We've always loved Stipe Buke. We've always loved Sifu. We've never had any problems with either of them. They both proved us right tonight. Uh, <laughs> that is the funny thing is, like, Ordaz played great. I definitely still want him to have more minutes. But at the same time, Buke finally played great. Bogus played great. <sighs> Bogus still looked great in the beginning. I don't know when he came off. Yeah, they they took him off, and I didn't think they necessarily needed to, but it worked the moment they did. Yeah, I mean that that was another hat. I have two more happy foots worth mentioning. One is I, I'm trying to think of a player who didn't. I mean, everyone who we've been looking to to play well played well. 
I mean, Bowanga didn't get a goal, but he he was still making things happen, and he he trusted the other players. I, I, the Butte goal was Bowanga's assist, I think. Um, yes, it was. It was, and that's I fucking complained about him not passing yeah, when other players were open, and it was a beautiful fucking pass. I mean, everything that we complained about, as if it was a legitimate complaint, has been proven wrong. <laughs> to our to our. This is what being uh, a pundit's all about. You don't have to know yeah, anything. You can just be mad about <laughs> things. And then when it when it doesn't happen, you're like, finally, the thing that I predicted would happen didn't happen. That's good. Uh, <laughs> this is good, actually. Um, uh, but Vela was cooking. I mean, it, it, everybody everybody played great. Keelini still played great. We, he wasn't flashy. Uh, Keelini had, had a great a game. Shaky. Yeah. Hollins had a little had shaky, shaky on defense. Again. But he, as soon as he looked, started looking shaky on defense... He started getting more aggressive. He started making things happen on offense. He knew how to make up for it in a way that I think was lacking. And I think we're used to seeing from him in uh, like last season and before. And I think that's kind of the big thing that was missing. It's like, even when he's shaking on defense, he makes up for it on offense. That wasn't the case anymore. Now he can kind of pick if he's got, it's like if he can make up for it on defense or he can make up for it on offense, like either one's good. I'm good with it. Also, the other thing uh, that's worth mentioning is this wasn't just any game to, yeah, we haven't even to finally come that. through. This was St. Louis. Yeah. This is a huge, huge, huge This game. was a must-win game if we want to be first in the West. We It's, a, it's as Dave Denholm would say, a true six-pointer. Uh, and yes. they are going to feel this if we come back from League's Cup and we're rested and we have a little bit more um, – Pep in our step, as I like to say. A couple of comments I want to just You're acknowledge. Always saying that. Travis is um, always saying that. Marshall said, Travis, I said hi to you at the beginning of the game. Nice to meet you. Marshall, thank you for saying that. I felt bad I didn't stop. I was rushing because I wanted to get a drink before the game started. Very nice to meet you, Marshall. I'm sorry I didn't stop to chat. Um, uh, Drover says, sad foot. We're all eating puke puke right now. And yes, we are <laughs> That's eating the puke, best puke. way to put it. I am the, I am the Butte Puke. Happily. <laughs> happily. <laughs> mm, all puke, I'll, I'll put it on the Baskin Robbins we're all going to get. <laughs> yeah. Make it a flavor. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, and Sifu looked so – like you could tell he knew it might be his last game. He was given hugs. I think he took the ball that was that he scored. Like it was – you could yeah. tell, man. Yeah. Um, and there's one other uh, comment I want to point out uh, if I scroll up. Somebody basically – explained why they would pay. Oh, Brian did this. Um, Brian says uh, the team who wants Sifu, the Rangers would rather guarantee they get him by dealing with LAFC than dealing with him on the open market. Cause he's worth that more makes than sense. probably yeah. what they will be able to pay him in an open market. Um, that makes sense. So there is a window there of yes. opportunity that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and Taylor also says, apparently we're the quickest team to 350 goals. Great. Yes. Let's be the they they talked about that on the broadcast. They talked about that on the broadcast. Quickest team to 300 points, quickest team to 350 goals. 350, hey, 350 goals. <laughs> Abel asks, guys, do you have scarves for sale or, or am I fucked? If you are a Patreon subscriber, you can get a link to buy a scarf. We have 12 left, I think, as of today. Um, 12 or 11. Uh, and So they're going fast. We don't have a ton left. I still have a bunch to hand out. I gave out a few today. But if you want one and you're a Patreon subscriber or you're not a Patreon subscriber, we they're limited edition. We only have about 10 left. Uh, to give out uh, 11 or 10. So if you do want one, go to patreon.com slash happyfoot, sadfoot, $5 a month, which is, again, way cheaper than parking here one time. Uh, and you get it. also, I think, a 15% discount on all uh, normal merch as well. You get friend of the foot shit and the scarf if you want to purchase that. So there are a few left. Go to patreon.com slash happyfoot, sadfoot, or happyfootsadfootpod.com to see all of the merch. Um, yeah. yeah. there We might. We might. We might make more scarves, do another run of scarves at some point in the future, but there's no guarantee that'll happen. And if we do, it might it be a totally a different design. It takes a while to make. Yeah. That's the I friend of the foot hoodie. shirt. They, oh, the so hoodie. It, it takes a few months to get the scarves and the design, and we're not going to sell the same design again. Each each scarf we yeah. do will be a different design. So if you want this one, um, make sure you buy one. Um, founding scarf, if you will. We're the ladies foot locker. We're the ladies foot locker merch at. Do, do we not sell women's sizes? I think we sell women's sizes. No, I think everything we sell is unisex. But make requests. There's a lot of options available to us, so we we'll can. Do a crop if anybody top. wants, we'll do yeah, a foot if crop anybody top. 
has any ideas for anything specific, especially if it's like an existing design, but you want it on something slightly different, we can make that happen pretty easily. So just also let us the, know. We use a website called the, the called Fourth Wall. So if you go on Fourth Wall and you see certain types of things that you want, we also can make that happen. But uh, we're trying to keep it limited and cool for now. Um, okay, listen. Uh, any other happy foots or sad foots in the chat? I feel like we're all just feeling good. We all just want to keep hanging out. This is great. <laughs> I did post the uh, the link to join us on the show if you want in the chat. Uh, that's not just open to subscribers anymore. Uh, founding feet, love it. Uh, I do have a couple more notes. I'm trying to think about Hit me what with we it, Darren. Uh, I think I was just excited about it being St. Louis. My boy, St. Louis should I run shitty. St. Louis shitty. Down? Yeah, go down there. I can run down there and ask him a question. I technically have access. <laughs> Excuse me, Steve. Did you listen to our podcast? <laughs> Steve. Hi. Let's get Vince on to, to give us the uh, X's and O's of Taylor's. Yeah, uh, is Taylor right or not? Diagram. Just like map it out. Um, uh, I don't know if I have. I mean, I had zero things on my sad foot list tonight. I will say that. Uh, Frumpy Hooper says, sad foot, a chick shot me down. I'm sorry, Frumpy Hooper, but that's what happens when you shoot your shot, man. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And you just got to respect the chick. Respect the chick. I'm always saying that. (laughs) Andrew found his car. Um, Let's see. That's a good happy foot, yeah. Abel says, sad foot, I'm in Vacaville, California. I don't know what that is. (laughs) Where is Vacaville? Va- where where is that? Like Vacayville, like where you take vacation. That sounds nice, though. Um. All right, let's wrap this up. I think. I think we're feeling good. Let's end on a high. Um. Darren, you want to take yeah, us what's away? Happening? Yeah. We beat the That's best team in the West. We beat the we best team in the West. Sifu fucking scored. Vela fucking scored. My favorite player of all time, Stepe Buke scored. I'm feeling <laughs> fucking incredible. Sifu with the goal. And, did we even talk about Sifu's goal? No. Sifu with a goal and an assist. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Uh, what a legacy, that man. Uh, Every game he played was perfect. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us on this show. This has been our show. Please, uh, if you enjoyed yourself, support us however you can. If you are able to contribute money or want something that costs <laughs> money, that's great. You can be a supporter of the show in that way. If you don't want to, you can still like, you can subscribe, you can subscribe to the podcast, you can share it with a friend, you can write a review. There are so many ways that you can uh, help us out if you'd like to, or just don't and keep enjoying watching or listening to the show we love that as well you can follow us on social you can you know tell us to fuck off and never see us again whatever we're having a great time regardless um david day happy foot i'm snowboarding mammoth in july thank you if you could share your full itinerary that would be great let's go through it on the show hit us with your the location of your airbnb um There'll be a Patreon only, a patron, patron only episode. Everyone in the Patreon has David to give vacation. full <laughs> access to their location on their phones and their, <laughs> and their bank account. It's just slowly going to turn. It's not a cult. It. It's not a cult. <laughs> it's one hundred percent Jonestown. We're going. We're going to commit mass suicide. Look, everyone. You know what the saddest foot of all is? <laughs> Let me. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a fantastic community it's so fun to do this with you thank after you all so every much. game we love you thank you for subscribing thank you for following thank you for commenting and calling in we're gonna beat fucking minnesota then we're gonna take two weeks off i mean the podcast you might still hear from us but the team's gonna take two weeks off and we are the best team in the league again we we're i don't know i'm feeling great <laughs> This was basically MLS Cup. I, I'll say supporter oh. show <laughs> solidified. This is how they do it on all like the um like the the yeah. shitty like white supremacist bar. They're just like so uh, <laughs> you know uh, they their mics like this like a, yeah. And I said, debate me. Why don't you just debate me about it, right? If you think vaccines work, why can't you come to my house and mm-hmm. explain it to my daughter? Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Did you read the study that I read? Did you read the study I read? What no, sort? But- what are your sources? Are you doing your own research? I go to healthnetline.net.
You know, I'm just, you know, crushing up and snorting that Herbalife. Suddenly our, all our I do. views just skyrocket. Just, <laughs> just like YouTube just funneling people the towards. The algorithm, baby. <laughs> love that algorithm. All right. All right. We're um, done. We love, love you, you everybody. Love you. Love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Love you.